All right, so this is a Wahoo ticker. Uh, this should work for any heart rate monitor working with Bluetooth BLE. Uh, basically, what you're going to see is when I turn this, when I put this on, it's going to start picking up my heart rate. It kicks on. Now I have three defined zones, and I've kind of lowered the heart rate zones. I think 70, 80, and 90, just for demonstration purposes. I'm not trying to get to 150 right now beats per minute so enough talking and I'll show you how this works so as soon as you put it on the fan kicks on it's on low and uh, obviously it jumps up to 70 pretty quick and I doubt that I'll have to do this but and there's high So that's a demonstration. I don't know if you can hear the fan, but it went from low to high based on three settings. So to do off, you can have like up to you know 70 or 80 is low and whatever. So basically this mimics a kicker headwind. And if we wait, as my heart rate decreases again, it'll go back down. So, and it's back down to medium. And as my heart rate drops, if it goes below 70, it's back to low. And then as soon as I take this off, fan turns off. So let's go over to the workbench and I'll show you what it takes to build this. So I have to say this before we start. While doing any work on your fan or doing any of this assembly, make sure your fan is unplugged from the power source. You do not want a 120 volt zap. That being said, let's get a, let's get a move on. This is very inexpensive. You're gonna need a relay. So this is an eight channel relay. You only need three if your fan is three poles or it has three positions. Uh, you can get a four channel relay. I haven't seen three. Um, but you can get a four channel relay for like seven or eight bucks. I'll link everything in the description below. So you can get this for about eight bucks. You can get a four channel for eight bucks. And you're gonna need a ESP32 Bluetooth module development board. And you can get a pair of these for about 15 bucks. So you get two. Uh, you're gonna need some jumper wires. And you're gonna need some little jumper wires here. Oh, let's zoom in. You're gonna need some jumper wires here. I just cut some. You're gonna need a USB cable because you're gonna need to upload some software to the ESP32. Obviously, you're gonna need a heart rate monitor. And finally, but not least, you'll need a fan. Now, I just had this Bornado donated, and basically, what you're want, gonna wanna do is take a fan off, take the bottom off. I've already removed this one. Uh, and what's gonna happen is you're gonna get something like this. Uh, the poles, right? Or the different positions. And typically, um, you'll see the live wire come in, which is off. And then one, two, and three. And I'm not sure if they're all mapped out the same, but you can kind of figure out what positions you have. Um, red is my low, blue is my medium, black is my high. So let's keep that in mind with your wire. Obviously leave the ground um, wired up. All right, so that being said, this is the schematic. You know, I'll put the instructions along with this on my website. So basically what you have here uh, is your ground goes straight to the fan. And this isn't an actual fan. This is like a little computer fan, but I couldn't find one for fritzing. So then you have your power comes into channel one and then you jump channel one to channel two. And these are the common channel two and then two to three and I have mine I have my wire normally open so you can see that uh, obviously my red is 
the low speed, blue is medium, and black is going to be high. So I have it one, two, three. And then obviously if we want to turn it off, we'll just deactivate all the channels. And uh, obviously we're also only going to deliver power to one channel at a time. And how you wire up the ESP, we're going to um, power the relay right off the VIN pin. Now I'm not here to debate whether you should wire, uh, <laughs> whether you should power the relay off of the VIN pin, but uh, we're doing it. It works. So I tried to power it off the three volt. It barely has enough to light up the LEDs, and it doesn't really for my eight channel. It doesn't really have enough to switch the relays. And then we're going to go 25, 26, and 27, I believe is the order of arrangement we have here. You can pick any GPIO pins that you want. I just went 25, 26, 27. We're going to go in, I guess, ascending order. So, you know, uh, 25 is going to control pin 1, 26 is going to control pin 2, and 27 is going to control pin 3. And that's the gist of it. So it's pretty simple, very basic and I will upload the code to uh, or I'll, I, the code is already uploaded to my bit my github you can check that out but um, you're gonna need Arduino and I'll, I'll link the instructions on how to get the dev board uh, how to get the dev board installed and um, because there's already tutorials on that and I'm not going to go through that but uh, basically you'll need the Arduino and you're going to need to have a cable so you can connect to your ESP32 and what's going to happen is you need to be able to select the ESP, you need the library for the ESP32 and dev module so once you have that, you can input my code that I will put in there, and you can set your zones. Now, for testing purposes, I really just put 70, 80, and 90 because I didn't want to keep getting my heart rate up to 150. But how this works is you will need to run the Bluetooth example and find your service UUID for your heart rate monitor, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So... Uh, And so here's how it works. So if it's less, if it's zero, it's going to turn off. So as soon as you unclip your heart rate monitor, it's going to turn off. If it's uh, if it's greater than zone one, or it's greater than zero and less than zone one, or less than and equal to zone one, it's going to be in low. If it's greater than zone one and less than zone or less than equal to zone two, it's going to turn to to two. And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's gonna go to three, right? If it's if it's greater than zone three, so so there's a gap here somewhere. I've, I've kind of foobarred some code. I'll fix that. So technically, if it's greater than zone two, I'll upload that. Um, you'll just go to high, right? So this is basically where you want your high zone three to cap out. Anyway, that being said, um, the rest of it is basic functionality of the ESP32. And what we'll do is we'll connect the ESP32 to the computer. Uh, bam. ESP32. And um, so what you'll also want to do it, to find your heart rate strap is we're going to go to uh, I forget where it's at. Examples. And then we'll go down to the ESP32. ESP, I'm sorry, ESP32 BLE Arduino. You'll pop open this client. 
and you'll make sure you have the ESP32 module selected and the COM port is 24. The easiest way to, do, to find out the COM port is to look at this, unplug yours, uh, I'm sorry, open up device manager. Once you have device manager open up, you can look at your COM ports and if you unplug your USB, you'll notice it's gone. You just plug it back in. Uh, you got COM port 24. Easiest way. COM port 24. And let's uh, let's actually open up the serial monitor as well. And let's upload this. Get your heart rate monitor strap ready. And we need to make sure that our baud rate is set to 115, uh, uh, 115-200. Once this finishes, we should notice some... La 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 If it ever compiles. This is super finicky as well. If you get failures, just keep trying. I get tons of failures and I just keep sending it and it works. So. All right, so check this out. We have this here. Now you wanna connect your heart rate monitor and it's right there. You see ticker, it came up. So you grab that UUID and mine probably is already in there. Copy that. Yeah, it's already in there. So it's exactly the same. Boom. You can close out the original one because I just modified the original one. Um, and what you're gonna, gonna wanna do, open up the serial monitor again. Now once you have yours in there and you've had your you've got your zone set. I might have foobarred this code, so if it's zero to here, it's one. If it's yeah, you probably you only need zone, you only need two, but you can choose to edit the code however you want. Um, you know, if it's greater than zone two, you're gonna go three. So you, you really don't need three, because. Um, that's low. Okay. And then you'll upload this to your to your device. And before you connect anything at all, you should be able to test this. I'm going to go ahead and put on this heart rate strap. And we just should see it's connected. And I'm in zone two. Obviously, I'm at 90. Uh, 90. If it's between zone one and. It's, it's greater than zone one, less than zone two. else is dead at zone three. Yeah. Three. So I'll up the, the up fix this code before and we don't really need zone. We don't need this. So um, so as you can see I'm at zone one. If I start moving around as soon as we get to 70 it's going to jump to zone two. We're in zone two, and I imagine we'll be, it's not gonna say zone two because my code isn't correct, but we'll upload this again. Just to... All right, now we're connected again.
again. Now we're in zone three, right? We're above 80. And you could say, we'll take this out. And you could say, you know, if, you know, I want to be up to 100, uh, let's, that's low, and then up to 120. That's, you know, 100 to 120 is medium, and anything over um, 120 is high. So that's it. And as you, can, you can't see from the code, but it's firing off the GPIO pins, right? It's saying, hey, um, if you're within this range, uh, turn the relay on. So I'll give you a demonstration of that with a top-down view. But uh, let me connect everything up, and then I'll show you how it works. All right, so welcome back. I've got a fan in my face, and I've attached some some toilet paper for reasons of science. As you can see, the heart rate monitor is off, the fan is off, all the relays are off. As soon as it detects, as soon as you take this off, uh, it drops to zero BPM. And so, as if it detects a zero BPM, it goes off. So we're in zone one. If I move, did we lose cold ever? All right, we're at medium. And now we're in hot because we get 80. All right, now as I cool down, woo side. As soon as I take this off and it reports a zero, it shuts itself off. That's that. Now, I want to talk about some other things you can do. This is a very crude design. Obviously, if you have a base like this, you could go ahead and just tuck this away in here. Um, if you have something like a brick that you're not using, like one of these, you can take this apart and pull out the butt converter or whatever it is in there. I don't know the exact term. I call them butt converters. They bring it from 120 down to 5 volts. And you can, you know, wire this. Or you can plug this in directly to the brick and then wire this power right off of the uh, incoming 120. And then you can just all tuck it away nice and neat. And anytime it picks up your heart rate monitor, you're going to... It's gonna start working. Uh, now, I'm, I wouldn't recommend doing this to a little trashy fan unless you have nothing else. I would definitely recommend getting a high velocity. I've got a Lasco um, in there that I'm gonna apply this to. I just uh, wanted to do this as a test example because the Lasco is, is huge, so. Uh, that's that. Um, the code, the link to the code is in the description. My website's in the description. All the stuff that I use here will be in the description. Now there are affiliate links if you want to support me. If this helps you out, um, click them. If not, I'll put the name of the products. Thanks for watching and um, like, comment, and subscribe.